Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to create a loop-based production in Reaper. So let's add some more loops to our song. Let's go back to the website. Now let's type in, in the search, synth lead load up. And there's a synth right here that sounds like this. Now it's a bit slow, but if we speed it up to the tempo of our song, I think it'll work. Let's hit download, go back to Reaper, and our hard drive, and here's that loop. Let's drag it in and drop it at bar one, and let's hear it with the musical loops turned off. Again, it's out of time, so let's stretch it to make it four bars long. Still feels too slow to me, so let's stretch it to be three bars. It's a bit more syncopated, but I think it works better in this track. So let's trim the last bar off, so it's two bars. Let's copy it and paste it every two bars. And just like with the other musical loops, we have to change the pitch to fit the key of our song. And I've already gone through it, so to save time, let's just double click the track, double click the item, and change the pitch to minus two, which sounds like this. Which works a lot better with synth one. But it doesn't work as well with the electric piano and our bass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna play this synth when our bass and the electric piano are not playing. So let's delete the first one, and the third one, and the fifth one, and just have it play when the synth is cut up. And we could turn off our bass and the electric piano during that time. So it'll sound like this. But we'll do that arranging a bit later. But for now, just so we remember, we'll only use this synth during the cut up parts of this synth when we turn off the bass and the electric piano. So let's name it Synth 2, give it a color, and save it. Next, we're going to add a flute sound. Let's go back to the website and let's type in Flute Wind. And there's a loop right here that sounds like this. Again, it's kind of slow, but we'll match the tempo in Reaper. Let's download it, go back to Reaper and our hard drive, and drag in the loop. Drop it. Let's turn off the other musical loops. Again, it's out of time. So we'll time stretch it to be four bars long, right here. Now 
Now both halves seem to sound the same. So let's trim it down to be two bars. Let's also change the pitch of it because it's out of key. Double click it, bring it down two steps. Now it's not going to play with the other musical loops because it doesn't really fit perfectly, but now it's in key. So you could play this as an option and also play this as an option. So they work in the same song, just not at the same time. By the way, I'm hitting Alt M on the PC or Option M on the Mac to toggle the mutes on our track. So I select them all, hit that keyboard shortcut, and all the tracks that are muted become unmuted, and the tracks that are unmuted become muted. So it toggles them. So let's copy this loop and paste it just once for now because I want to cut it up to make the ending sound more interesting. So let's zoom in to the track. Let's make the grid 16th notes with that keyboard shortcut, Windows on the PC, Control on the Mac, and Page Up or Page Down to make it 16th notes. And then let's cut up the last beat of the phrase. Put the cursor at beat four, split it, and delete this piece. Then grab a 16th note from the beginning right here and split this and copy it and paste it here and here, which will sound like this. Now to make it tighter, let's select these two. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and we could drag it so it starts at full volume instead of fading in like this, right up to here. Let's hear that. I like that better. So let's zoom out and delete this, select them all, copy, and paste it for the second half. Paste it again at bar five. And I'm going to cut it up a bit differently over here. I'm going to split it right here at beat three. And again, right here. Delete this piece and copy this one and paste it over here. Then I'm going to cut this with 30 second notes. Make the grid. 30 second notes, trim this down, delete this one, copy it, and paste it here, and then here. But to make this sound smoother, let's select them, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and bring them back out to where they started. So now it'll sound like this. So we created a four bar phrase. Let's delete this. Let's select them all and group them. Group items and then copy it and paste it at bar five and at bar nine. And that should be enough. And now it sounds like this. Let's EQ it a bit to bring out the mid-range. Go to the track effects. Choose the Reaper effects. Re-EQ. Let's boost the mid-range a bit. Here 
here in the track and adjust the volume. I kind of like it just playing with the tambourine loop. But again, we'll do this when we arrange our track. So let's move on and just add a few more loops. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 